welcome to another Wasted Moment with Gord, where I'm telling you right here and right now, you really learn a lot about who your friends are when it comes time to move. Yeah, I could leave it at that, and it's probably best that I do, just because. Well, anyway, uh, since moving out, that means you have to buy a whole bunch of new things, so uh, what I started off with doing is uh, getting food. And instead of, you know, sharing with other people, uh, this will just be my food. So, um, I will preposition this by saying that I'm a bachelor that doesn't know really how to cook. And that will be pretty obvious by what I'm going to show you right here now. I'll start off with my chicken cutlets. Ooh, I'm going to take a couple minutes in the oven. Uh, salad dressing, because, um... It tastes good. And speaking of salads, tossed salad. Because it's really good to have a nicely tossed salad. And when it's done right, you get the dressing on it. Uh, moving along, we've got a variety pack. No, not condoms. Brogies. Kind of like condoms. But um, you can put cheese on them. And uh, no worries about uh, naughty things. Oh, <laughs> uh, fries, wedge-style fries, which, and uh, that's because I, I no longer get wedgies uh, from school or anything like that, so I have to make up for it in other areas. Uh, fuck the environment. Plastic, plastic, plastic. Uh, milk, 2% milk. It does the body gourd, and you should drink a lot of milk. Uh. Oh, these vanilla strawberry wafers. Yeah, these are the wafers that you eat like five of them and you say you're done. No more. Ever again. And then six months later, you have another five and you say no more. Done. Never again. So I've got quite a few months here. And since I don't see an expiry date on here, this is going to last to the end of time. Um, three Granny Smith apples, because I missed my grandma, and I like to consume her, um, one portion at a time. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I miss my grandpa, and I'm just kidding, it's just bananas, uh, under ripe, they're green, uh, awesome. Bag number three, which will really show how batch I am. No name macaroni and cheese. No name. That's right. Even says no name. Ah, I guess they've got a company now. I wonder if Acme is going to start coming out with giant mouse traps. All right, over here. Um. And you know how Batman has his sidekicks? Well, I have my own too. Country mushroom sidekicks for rice. Um, fettuccine Alfredo. Uh, side plus teriyaki noodles with Asian style vegetables. Perfect for the Asian that doesn't know how to cook. Or the bachelor that doesn't. Ah. We have Uncle Ben, because that's how I pay it forward for all those years of slavery that I'm not responsible for. Uh, creamy bacon. Carbonara. Yeah. Okay. Here we go! Uh, chicken and a, and a sack. It's probably some sort of noodle chicken. I hope. Not real chicken, like my chicken cutlets. Uh, and then more Uncle Ben, because I think this is the way I give them reparations. Uh, finally, let's take a look in this last sack. Uh, some sort of bento box. Uh, costs three bucks. Comes with meat on a skewer. And uh, a fortune cookie, because that's what I care about. Skillet sensations for lasagna and meatballs. I don't know how well it's going to go over, but I hope awesome. Uh, dentine gum. Intense, because I like having fresh breath. Plus, girls, uh, if you want uh, a happy situation down there, make sure. Uh, sweet and sour chicken. 
I don't, I would go with beef, but my dad, uh, well, he farms cows. And I'd get the meat for free. Uh, Swedish meatballs, and more meatballs. Uh, fettuccine alfredo. Um, honey barbecue chicken. A sack of potatoes, the potato patties. And yeah, that'll be pretty good. I only picked them up because they were kind of uh, nice and low on the sodium until after I put all my ketchup and salt on them, like McDonald's does. So anyway, there you have it. That's all my food, and hopefully that'll help me bulk up. I mean, I think it'd be kind of amusing to see some sort of cooking show with the uh, skinny and just see how long it lasts. Because, you know, you trust a chef that is skinny, not eating their own food. But anyway, um, well, good eats.